Hey, what's up everybody? This is Matthew from LG4L Gaming Network. I'm bringing you this video to show you the moment I managed to dock for the first time um, one of my Kerbal spaceships. And I did this live on the stream. It was actually one of my best streams ever. Uh, if you're not familiar with my stream, um, it's on twitch.tv forward slash LG4L Gaming Network. And uh, I think I probably had about 20 guys watching it this time, and they were all talking me through how to dock, uh, how to control the RCS thrusters, when to turn off RCS and SAS, uh, using the IJKL keys, and when not to use main thrusters, all this kind of thing. And uh, I actually found it really useful with them talking me through it live on the stream. It was just amazing. As I said, it was one of my favorite streams ever. Uh, just for the sheer euphoria I experienced after having um, docked for the first time with everyone watching. Um, I just I find the help you guys give me on Twitch extremely valuable. Uh, and without it, I wouldn't have been able to dock. Since this video, I managed to go on and dock a few more pieces together and build what I call the ISS Kerbin. Or the ISS Kerbal. Uh, it's kind of an homage to the International Space Station in Kerbal form, <coughs> if you'll excuse me. Um, so yeah, what you're seeing is me kind of messing, well, messing my way through using the controls IJKL and um, H and N to go forwards and backwards. The IJKL control your movement in the up, down, left, right. Uh, directions H and N control it in the forward and backwards directions, but uh, what I actually found was um, I was really really bad at controlling it. I've managed to improve a little bit since then, but I think this docking actually occurred more through luck than judgment. But um, as I said, the guys taught me through it, and uh, they were so happy afterwards. And when I left. It was really nice to see everyone just hanging around the chat room saying, yeah, this guy's really fun to watch. Um, apologies, I go really quiet on the stream when I'm, you know, when I'm streaming this kind of thing. But I did find it really difficult. Um, this, uh, this, this docking maneuver served no other purpose than to train me in how to dock. So you can look at the spaceships and they're pretty rudimentary. Badly designed, probably. I don't know. I've, I've only been playing Kerbals for maybe about a month. Uh, I played it a little bit when it was in version 0.18. And I went back to it uh, a little bit ago uh, on version 0.22. So, yeah. This is my basic, really, really basic attempt at docking using some multi-point connectors. Which I felt were necessary because... Gives me as many uh, opportunities as possible to actually connect two of them together. <laughs> Rather than any idea that I would build some huge structure in space out of this. Um, yeah, that's about it. If you if you do uh, enjoy watching my videos, guys, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash LG4L1. Um... The reason I ask you to do that is so that I can communicate with you guys and you can let me know what you want me to be streaming, what kind of things I should be doing in the um, uh, in the Kerbal universe, um, any mods you want to see, anything at all really, any different games you want to see. I just want to hear back from you and cater to the audience because I find it really enjoyable working with you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, I've heard of uh, a nice mod where it adds extra planets. I've actually looked for it. I couldn't find it. So if any of you guys want to leave that in the comments section of where to find it or find me on the Twitch stream, uh, that would be really helpful. Because I've kind of visited most of the planets. I'll get all the videos up as soon as I can. But I haven't managed to uh, find time to produce them all yet. As you can see in the video here, I've got my solar panels out. One of the earlier tries I was... Uh, attempting to do whilst on my own uh, kept running out of electricity which obviously reduces the maneuverability to pretty much zero of your little spaceship um, that being the case I 
put a couple of little uh, extendable solar panels on and made sure I opened them up earlier on in the maneuver. That served me well. I made sure I added loads of monopropellant because I know or I kind of guessed that I wouldn't be very good at this. So I needed as many opportunities as I could. So as you can see, I've burned through nearly like 300 of it. Um, and I'm still 4.3 roughly four meters away from the refueler which is the thing i'm trying to dock to also luckily on this run was that i, I managed to time the maneuver by accident <coughs> to coincide with being on the sunny side of the earth so you can actually see what's going on and i can actually see what's going on because one of my major failings in spaceship design is forgetting to put lights on the things my good friend Evelyn. Uh, he has his own YouTube channel at um, youtube.com forward slash the Everleth. Uh, my good friend, he is always telling me to put lights on and I'm always like, yeah, yeah, I won't need them on this mission. But invariably, I forget about the movement of celestial bodies and that sometimes you're in the shade and sometimes you're in the light. Usually my maneuvers are really annoyingly situated on the dark side of the planet. Had I lights on my systems, and a lot of my earlier landings on planets would have been made a lot easier by meaning I could actually see the ground where I'm landing. Um, yeah. But as I say, we're getting... You can see I'm so close to the refueler here, but my inability to control it on this tiny scale, mainly led by the fact that IJKL have no finite um, directional movement, it all depends on uh, where you're controlling the spaceship from, which I later learnt. And you could also change the camera angle to be, uh, I forget what it's called, chase cam, I think. Without knowing those things, uh, really troubled me on this. So I was kind of just pressing little buttons, see which move me where. And gradually, I managed to get closer and closer. And then, I got so close. I was thinking, have I got it? And at this stage, I must have been so quiet on the stream. I'm just focusing, focusing. Everyone's watching me. Can he perform this maneuver? And, to my surprise, eventually I got there. I've seen some amazing designs, actually, from the guys who come on my stream. Uh, some amazingly bizarre, convoluted designs of spaceships, uh, space planes. I've yet to build a space plane. I've had a go at building a rover and trying to land that on different planets. Unsuccessfully at the moment. So if you know of any ways I can attach a rover to my um, to my rocket and actually get it to decouple from the spacecraft and land on the planet surface without, um, without tipping over, then yeah, let me know that in the comments too. Because often my problem, <coughs> well, especially with my latest build, the... Uh, the rover I build looks really cool, but every time I try and decouple it onto a planet, it tips over. Now, I've actually got little rockets on it, which lower it gradually to the surface, assuming it's horizontal to the surface, but usually that doesn't happen. So, well, what tends to happen is I decouple it from the spacecraft, it jumps off, I try to lower it, and it flips over and lands on the ground, and I spend about 10-15 minutes trying to get my Kerbal to superhuman strength and tip the thing over. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the video at hand. What you're seeing here is me trying to cuff, um, dock that front node, or the front docking port, to there. And everyone in the stream saying, hold on a minute, there's no docking port there. And I'm like, oh, my inexperience in what docking ports and actually docking stuff is uh, is trolling me right here. So I was basically trying to connect to something that is, uh, that has no, that you're not allowed to connect to, basically. So the docking ports I should have been aiming for were on the end of these white canisters. As you can see, they stick out a little bit with little lips on the end. And also on my little spaceship I'm flying towards it, I have corresponding docking ports. Now, I by no means profess that I'm an expert at this game, especially not at this stage and especially not at docking. So finally, someone said in the stream, why are you trying to connect something that won't connect? I was like, hmm? What are you talking about? 
And they explained it to me, and I was like, hell yeah. And I think they appreciated that at least I listened. So, that being the case, what I did was try to attach the docking port that you see on the top of the spacecraft here, as we look at it, to the one underneath, right at the bottom of that cross, which is formed by the four fuel tanks. And then, all the time, remember, I'm struggling to control the, uh, <laughs> the monopropellant thrusters, the RCS thrusters. And I'm running out of monopropellant, as you can see. I've dipped under 95 now. And uh, so I'm thinking, damn, I'm going to fail live on Twitch. What the hell am I going to do? They can't see me as a failure. And as if by magic, Catlord came and bestowed upon me the ability to connect something together. And I, I was just getting closer and closer by this stage. This is definitely by m more by luck than judgment. And I see them attach. And I'm like, hell yeah, what do I do now? Leave it. And I did leave it. And they kind of just sucked each other together. And then it zoomed out and I was connected. And I was like, yes! In front of everyone, I've done it on the stream. And everyone was really happy for me. And I was freaking happy. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of the video. But uh, hopefully you've learned a little bit. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you soon.